All right, y'all, we got our lamb meat from the processor. I'm gonna steal a sneak peek at some of this lamb sausage that Meg is in here cooking up. Oh, yeah, it smells so good. All right, y'all, tell me what you think, boys. You like it, Titus? I could never settle down Too far away from my hometown With my family I am bound I stick by them till I'm in the ground Ooh. 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 Farms all about God the boys and I just up at the front of the property. I'm sitting in the side by side actually, and they're over here playing in the rocks. And uh, we just got done. Uh, yeah. What you got? Show me what you got. Not the big rocks. Okay, good. So they trying to find some small rocks to skip, huh? Yeah, uh, like yeah. this, like this. Yeah. <laughs> good. Uh, but and like this. Right now we just build. Uh, y'all go, go back to it. But yeah, we're just up here because I actually. Okay, no, we got you. I see it. Keep going. Go, go get some more. But yeah, y'all, we're just up here. Uh, I'm actually loading the video. Just got done editing, getting the video out for you guys. And uh, for our AAG, for our AAG farm family. <laughs> and uh, trying to get that out because uh, at the back of the property, it, the video is loaded so slow that I have to come to the front to uh, load the videos. Y'all don't fight all the rocks over there now. But yeah, I have to come to the front to load the video so they can load a little bit faster. We have a little bit better service up here. And uh, we just got done moving the sheep and uh, feeding the fish. And we're just kind of taking this morning slow. Uh, it's Monday morning. Had a big, long, uh, not hard week. It was a fun week. I don't like to call things hard and, you know, say I'm tired and this and that and that, you know. Because uh, even though those things are true in a certain perspective, I don't like to harp on those things, if you can understand what I'm saying. You know, because sometimes you can defeat yourself before you even start the battle, <laughs> you know. So sometimes you have to speak in the way to where, you know, you encourage yourself and strengthen yourself. And that is what I try to do is I try to use my words wisely when I speak them and just not let them just flow out however I'm feeling, you know, because sometimes your emotions and your feelings are not actually what's real and what's true. Emotions, they go up and down. You know, the weather can be good. It can be hot and your emotions are bad. <laughs> and the weather can be like springtime or fall weather and your emotions are, are good based off the weather, you know. So I don't want to let my communication be dictated by my emotions because my emotions are dictated by the things around me you know and i always say that i don't want to be a thermometer i want to be a thermostat you know a thermostat dictates the temperature of the things around it and a thermometer is dictated by the things that go on around it you know so i don't want to be dictated by the things that go on around me but i want i want to dictate you know and establish you know and set in order the things that are going on around me you know i used to say a saying if i change everything around me must change you know so I, I set that standard you know for <laughs> real but anyway uh, i just got done talking to the the processor y'all saw in a couple videos ago we took some of the the um we took the two Susies to the processor and got them processed and made made into link and ground sausage and we smoked it on the grill and uh, we got a couple lambs we, we have three we have four rams actually we have a ram lamb that Naomi, one of our sheep, just had. We have Boaz. Everybody knows Boaz. He's our breeder ram. And then we have Boaz's two sons. Uh, we call them the sons of uh, thunder. <laughs> you know, two little rams. And uh, we got too many rams. And so we're going to load up some of those rams and uh, take them to the butcher house and get some uh, some good lamb chops and uh, <laughs> lamb roast and things like that made up. And so uh, we might get that done today And because uh, I also need to go to, to, to track the supply. Go, to go do a feed run because the pigs they ran out of feed and uh you know i was just really the lord was just really ministering to me that uh it's okay you know to take it slow it's okay to take it slow because i was prepared you know this week to get in emma and you know try to like just just had this crazy pace you know to try to get us in there like possibly in the next couple of weeks and uh you know it's, it, it's just been a beautiful process to see emma transform <laughs> into something that's like beautiful and i and and, and i'm i'm looking forward to the, the the finishing part of the process but i'm also like enjoying it like in the moment you know because uh it's not about the end goal all the time but sometimes you have to enjoy like the process day by day you know like hear what the lord is speaking to you be encouraged like live in the moment sometimes 
and uh you know i just felt like and i prayed about it and i felt like if i went in and got, got started on emma like early this morning like i usually do on monday morning that i wasn't going to to, to to fully soak in what what the lord was trying to teach me through the process and that's what's most important you know because it's not all about emma <laughs> you know it's not all about a mobile home it's not all about you know sheep or whatever that may be those are just tools and vessels that the lord uses to minister to us you know but it's all about god here you know you know when you signed up for this youtube channel <laughs> some folks uh, they come in and you know they, they act like it's a, it's a surprise that we talk about god a lot and that you know uh that we put the lord in everything we do it shouldn't be a surprise because when you click when you click subscribe <laughs> when you ring the notification bell when you push the like button when you start watching the video the first thing that you see is it's all about god going across the screen and uh we're gonna talk about it throughout and we're not gonna do it in a religious like a uh, judgmental way it's just life for us like this is just the life that we chose to live we feel led that god is the most important thing in our lives you know that jesus is the most important thing in our lives and so we live in a way that that is not just in words but it's indeed and in truth but yeah i'm excited about this week because uh i, I really don't want to make a plan and say i'm not gonna work on emma all week you know but uh that's kind of what i'm feeling like doing but i'm gonna just take it day by day because i might just take it easy today take some lambs to the to the uh to the processor get get them put in freezer camp so that we can have you know some uh, some uh meat other than pork you know because we, we don't like to eat pork every day <laughs> you know we really just eat it for breakfast really and every now and then we'll grill up some uh like hot dogs with the sausage links you know put it on on, on a hot dog bun but uh we really don't eat pork that much we really mostly eat turkey uh we don't even eat ground beef because uh, we want to be able to raise our own beef eventually and uh, that's our goal but until then instead of buying the, the beef in the grocery stores which we don't think is you know the top quality you know we want to be able to raise our own beef and have our own ground beef and until the end you know we, we get ground turkey uh turkey sausage things like that you know but now that we have pork sausage we use our pork sausage but uh, we mostly eat turkey turkey meat uh because you know that's and chicken you know but uh, we want to raise all those things ourselves the chicken turkey uh, and all those things are coming lamb pork beef you know uh have our own milk cow uh it's it, it's coming it's coming and uh part of what the barn is going to be used for uh once we move the camper out of the way that section where i think we're going to turn it into like a milking parlor where the boys and megan or the boys and myself can uh go under you know shelter from the rain and milk the cow bring her in you know do some calf sharing and like the cat the calf that we're raising up on the milk will eventually become uh meat you know and go to freezer camp so all of those things are like, within the next couple of years are going to be coming into fruition but as i said right now we we have to have vision for the future yeah, like that's true you know because we have to understand what the lord wants to do tomorrow and in, in the next year and in the next five years and the next 10 years but we also have to have a value and appreciation for today and that's my my goal for today is to appreciate today uh the boys they were down there feeding fish they were talking about their fishing poles and you know I, I realized that i hadn't taken them fishing like we hadn't had a fishing trip all spring and summer because I've, I've been so busy you know trying to establish home and i said uh boys we're gonna we're gonna pull them fishing poles out you know we might have to get out here early in the morning or late at night or right before it turns you know at dusk you know right before it turns nighttime because it's so hot in mississippi you know during the day the fish they all go to the bottom but uh we might do some do some fishing this week you know we might uh take some lambs to the processor this week uh you know just just work with the animals and just enjoy you know the farm and then pick back up on emma next week or we might just do it for a couple of days and pick back up on emma you know in a couple of days who knows like i said but uh I'm, I'm just looking forward to enjoying the process for these next couple of days and just breathing spending time with the lord and allowing him to minister to me and uh just being fresh you know because uh <laughs> after this break here nothing is gonna hold me back you know, Lord willing, nothing to hold me back and I'll be fresh. And then this last stretch, last week or two of working on Emma, we're going to be in there, you know. And uh, I'm, I'm feeling those urges already to get inside of Emma. And uh, we've already started taking showers in there. We started brushing our teeth in there. We started using the bathroom. The boys have started doing homeschool in there. And so we're slowly, you know, doing these things. And we, we've got, got, got done painting and uh, 
scraping down the popcorn ceilings and floors are coming soon. The cabinets are on the way. My wood stove is going to be ordered soon to be ready for winter time. So it's just amazing, y'all. But uh, y'all just join us for this journey today. Uh, we'll see if we can get some of these, these lambs loaded up, take it to the processor. See if we can uh, just kind of chill out and uh, just see what these next couple days bring. So y'all, let's just play about you on today's video and just see see what happens. It's IAG Farms. It's all about God. So we got our two uh ram lambs loaded up that's going to freezer camp and uh you know this is part of the process and uh we just can't have too many rams around and so we're gonna put them to good use good healthy meat and put it in our freezer to feed our family and feed you know other families in our community and families in need and so me and the boys are finna load up y'all ready to load up boys head to the butcher house butcher shop come on over here and tell me if uh what y'all think about this process Come on over, Tim. What do you think about this process? Does it make you sad? Do you understand the process? Just tell me your thoughts about when we take animals to the butcher and to the process. Yeah. Yep, that's right. So you you understand the process, huh? Yeah. That's right, that's right. Noah, who about you, Noah? Step aside, let Noah come over. What do you think about the process of taking animals to the, and sending animals to the freezer camp? Like, yeah. Say it again. Like drive. Drive? Mm-hmm. Yeah, when we drive there to the butcher shop. Mm -hmm. You like to drive? You yeah. like you like driving along with dad, riding yeah. with me? No. Yeah, having vocational homeschool. No. <laughs> getting, getting snacks and treats and juices and stuff. No. Uh, yeah. Come on, Ty, let me know what you think. Cause a lot of people probably want to hear y'all's uh perspective, you know, because y'all are children and a lot of kids, yeah. you know, would be sad and all those type yeah. of things because we name those animals. And uh, a lot of people think that since we named the animals, you know, we're sad when they go. What do you think, Titus? That when you when you when you raise the animal, yeah. you, you get to like you get to eat it and and sh share it with others. That's what God said, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Like I said, we just 
try to use this meat to raise for our families and like i said to give to those that's in need and uh yeah so we're gonna me and the boys gonna load up and uh we're gonna head on to the butcher shop and uh, we'll just pick y'all up when we get there Alright y'all, we made it to, to the butcher shop, the butcher house, and uh, the sheep they're doing good. They're doing a whole lot better than the pigs were doing. <laughs> the pigs are all hot and sweaty, and uh, the sheep they're just chilling. So, yep, I had a good life, and uh, y'all feeling y'all's calling. Yeah, I'm get the boys out, and then we we'll get these sheep unloaded. Go in and get our ticket. Thank you.
IG Farms on the roll earlier this morning. And uh, we got the call that our lamb meat is ready. I think they say it's about, about 30 or 40 pounds of meat. And uh, so I'm on the roll earlier this morning going to get it because uh, we got some other things going on the farm today. Uh, we got some visitors coming today to help us paint. And y'all will see that on another, on another video. But uh, I'm headed out early this morning so I can get back. You know, it's probably about, what is it, 7.16 now. I should be at the uh, butcher shop in about 10 minutes or so. And I'm gonna try to be back at the farm, you know, before 8.30, because our visitors, they're driving. They have about a three hour drive. They're coming down to help us paint uh, and help us try to get in them. You know, it's uh, some friends of ours that we've known for years. And uh, yeah, so it's, it should be fun times. And uh, I'm looking forward to documenting uh, their visit. And uh, yeah, but I'm right now I'm headed. Y'all, like I said, y'all see that on another video. But right now I'm headed to the butcher shop to pick up our lamb meat. And uh, we're all excited about that. They actually made some lamb sausage for us, and we've never had lamb sausage. And so we're excited to try it out. We have some lamb chops, some steaks, probably a leg of lamb, different things like that. But yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back pants into this road, and uh, I'll pick y'all up when we get to the butcher shop, and let's see what all, uh, see how much meat we got. Alright y'all, I got the meat paid for. I'm gonna pull around back now and get loaded up. And uh, we'll talk to y'all. I guess I'll just pick y'all up. Well, I'll pick y'all up in the back. And then when we get to the farm, we'll talk about the, about the prices and everything. Alright, good morning. How you, how you doing? Doing good, doing good. Hey, you keep these separate? Uh, yeah, if you can. Okay. Mm-hmm. You put your B on that side of okay. the A over here. Thank you. Same thing with your... With yes, sir. I believe an A is going to be your small. Okay. Your younger one there. Yes, sir. Okay. That's good. All right, y'all. Right, so we loaded up with our lamb meat. Got a cooler full here. And now we're headed back to the farm. All right, y'all, I made it back to the farm, and I have our yield here from our two lambs laid out on the table. Let me let y'all see what it looks like. All right, here it is. I'm not sure what these are. I think these are just what they call steaks. Those are like ribs there. I'm not sure what all this stuff is. They didn't label it this time, but uh, they said they were going to cook steaks. And uh, I know what this is, sausage, lamb sausage. So we have about six packs of lamb sausage here. And uh, there's some more steaks. So I, I had this. This is the smaller lamb that we had here, and uh, it produced, I think, two bags of sausage, I believe. And then all of this right here, and then the bigger lamb produced all of this, I think, which are steaks and ribs, and then four packs of sausage. So yeah, looks pretty good. What y'all think? Good. Y'all excited to try some lamb chops? Yeah. Lamb sausage. I really want to eat some lamb. <laughs> Good. These are definitely real. Like All right, y'all. So so far, we're satisfied with our yield that we got from those two lambs. Uh, they were small, and we, you know, knew it was wasn't gonna be as much meat as with the pigs. But uh, you know, we just trying to fill our freezer with different types of meat. You know, uh, different types of farm fresh, farm raised quality meat. And uh, you know, we just look forward to doing this in the future and being able to do it on a bigger scale, to where we can give, you know, like more and more abundantly. Emma. That's establishing right. more and more abundantly right. and uh we're just looking forward to be able to do that because that's our goal is to work with our hands so we can have something to give to those that's in need and uh not even just those that are in need like in poverty you know or don't have food to eat but just blessing our neighbors you know that like just showing love you know that's, that's what it's all about you know so uh, we'll yeah. be able to have a 100 percent farm fresh meal we'll have some uh lamb chops and lamb steaks with some uh new yeah. potatoes 
yeah. that we've uh, raised on our farm. And I think that'll be a great com I think that'll be a great combination. Yep. That's good. All right, y'all. So as I told y'all before, we got some visitors coming to the farm today, and uh, we're gonna be working on painting inside of him and all those good things. And uh, we just look forward to, to that. And uh, so we're gonna end today's video here, and we'll get this, this lamb meat put in the freezer and put away. But uh, we'll catch y'all on the next one. It's IG Farm. See y'all on the next. One. Little by little, piece by piece, I take back what's been stolen from me. Little by little, piece by piece Until I'm complete